Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to give you the 13 shortcuts that I've been using in Lightroom Classic for over 12 years that speed up my workflow by at least 50%. It's going to change the way you use Lightroom because there's over 250 shortcuts, but I discovered I've only been using 13 in 12 years and I love shortcuts. So let me show you which one I think is the best that you should know to speed up your own workflow with Lightroom Classic. Let's get started. So by the way, guys, I'm, uh, I'm going to give you a PDF that you can download right under this video. All you have to do is create an account on my website, photosearch.com. You put in your email and your address. Make sure you put the right email or it's not going to work. Then uh, you're going to have to verify your account. And in on photosearch.com, once you log in with your email, uh, you will be able to download this thing, print it. You can just put it on the wall and you will see it's very useful because once you master these light shortcuts, it just makes life so much easier. By the way, before we start, so I'm using a Mac, but if you download this, you'll have all the Windows uh, shortcuts. So make sure you download this and you print it. The link is under this video. Uh, I'm going to show you the Mac ones that are almost the same uh, when it comes to Windows. Uh, just get the list from, uh, from the download down below. All right, so the first one is show and hide all panels. This is something I use all the time when I want to appreciate a photo. So basically what you do is you press shift tab and all the panels goes away and you press shift tab and it comes back again. Um, so let me do it again, shift tab. And it's just really cool. And if you really want to see everything in just a photo, you can press L, L, it's a little bonus and everything becomes black, like if you don't want to have the gray around. So I usually use Shift Tab LL to appreciate my photo and uh, L again to get the gray back and Shift Tab to come back. So I repeat, you go Shift Tab LL. Okay, the other way you can do this is by pressing F. F is full screen. So, and full screen is full screen. It's gonna take the photo full screen. So. Why would you use Shift Tab instead of full screen? I'll tell you why. F is great, but it's slow. To go from one photo to the next is gonna be very slow. Like, it, some, like I just pressed uh, uh, you know, on my keyboard uh, the arrow key and it took like three seconds. When you do the Shift Tab technique and you go to the next photo, it's much faster. So I'm a very impatient man, so I use more Shift Tab than F. But F is cool because you can really see your photo in full screen. The next one is to go into grid view. G for grid, G for grid, so G and I can see all my photos. And if you want to um, like see one photo, let's say I want to see this one in full screen, I press E and boom, I'm in full screen. G, I'm back into grid mode. I click on this one, E, I'm in full screen. G, I'm back. And I can also double click on the photo, same thing, but I like to use the G and E shortcut. Another one that's amazing is the C key. The C key is the compare mode. So I can select two photos, I press C, and then I, and I can press Shift Tab also, so now I have everything in full screen. And check this out, and this is why I use it. I can zoom in and I can compare the photos at the exact same loom level with C. And I can press E to go back. So I repeat, C to go in compare mode, E to go back to normal mode, Shift Tab to come back. So Shift Tab I use all the time, and C I use all the time. Compare is great when you wanna see, like you're comparing two photos to see how sharp they are, or, you know, you want to see the detail in the sky or, you know, whatever. Whatever reasons you have to compare your photos. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this, please take a second to smash the like button. If you can smash the like button and leave me a comment, tell me what shortcut you're using or what you would like to learn. I read every single of your comments every week. I, I'm obsessed by your comments. So leave me a comment. And if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, by all means, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I do a lots of tutorials, mostly on Lightroom, Photoshop, uh, photography. This is actually the number one channel in the world on Lightroom. So if you love Lightroom, love Photoshop, love photography, love Cityscape, take a minute, just subscribe. Use the little bell to click on all so you get all the notifications when this goes live. I try to make like a video or two per week and I've done over six or 700 so you can go back and watch things and voila. Okay, the next one is amazing. It's the survey mode. I use that all the time. So let's say, for example, my printer wants, uh, or I, I need to do like a cover for a book. I can select different photos like this by holding the command key and click on a photo. And then I press the end key, shift tab. So it's full screen. And now I can see them in full screen. And that's the end, it's called the survey mode. 
But what's, what's amazing about it is like, let's say I'm saying like, oh no, I don't want to use this one. And boom, uh, it's going to re-lay uh, out everything. And I say, oh, I don't want to use this one. And boom, it makes it bigger. And it's like Highlander, there can be only one. And boom, uh, that's the last one. And you can go like with lots of photos. Like I can go all my photos, and key, shift tab, and say, okay, uh, maybe not this one, maybe not this one, you know, maybe not this one. And every time the layout changes to make them bigger. And I use that all the time. You know, usually what I do is I filter all my photos with giving a number. And then, um, and then I, so I give like a one to every photo which has potential. And then I give a two uh, on the ones that are really good. And so then I select all my two photos. And then I, before I give it a three, which is going to be like the best of the best, I, I use uh, this mode to uh, see all my twos kind of thing. So you, then you press E or G to go to the survey mode, the end mode. Now, then another one that's vital is the uh, I. I gives you the data. So I, if you press one time, is going to tell you like the resolution. You see, this is like a medium format, 102 million pixel photo, 11,801 by 6,638. So great, great resolution. It tells you the date I shot it, the time I shot it. And if I press I again, it tells you the second, half a second, f.8, ISO 160, and it even tells you which lens you used, uh, which was in this case a 32 millimeter out of the zoom lens that goes from 32 to 64 on my GFX Fuji. So, and if you press I again, this disappears. All right, the next one is very annoying because it only works when you're in a library module. So if I'm a develop module, it's not gonna work. It's F2. If you press F2, it doesn't work. I uh, see it doesn't work there. Uh, it just does not work. But then you go to library and you press F2 and you can rename your photo. I can say Eiffel Tower and it renames the photo. But so it's kind of a two step, first library and then F2. Again, if you have some better idea, leave a comment below. Okay, one of the most shortcuts that I use is a star rating. So let's say I would go through this photo and this is what I do. So I go through the photo, I'm like, oh, am I gonna use this one? Yes, I'm gonna give you the one, uh, one, one, and then this one, oh, this one's amazing. I'm gonna give it a two and one. So I just press one or two on my keyboard or three. The way I do it is I first go through and I give a one to everything that has potential. Okay, then I refilter all my photos. So uh, like this, by clicking here. So now I only have the photos which is one or above. And then I'm like, uh, no, okay, this one is not good. Yeah, this one is a two. Uh, this one is definitely a two. This one is a two. This one is a two, and then I, I filter by two, and now I have only the two and above. And then, you know, and I go on and on and on. That's the way I do it to pick up my best of the best photos. Usually, so one is, it has potential. Two is, it really has a lot of potential. Three is usually for the one which are retouch. Four is like exceptional, and five is like lifetime exceptional. So that's, that's just how I do it. So you just, and if you want to take the star, just press zero. So this is something that I do all the time. Okay, one that's very important is the backslash key. The backslash key uh, shows you the before and after. So this is a black and white, I just finished retouching, backslash key. Before, you see it says before upright, and then backslash key again, it shows you after, before, after. Very handy to see what you did with your retouching. Okay, last but not least, the photos merge option, which I really like. I like to go fast, so this is an HDR, a beautiful HDR. I shot in Page, Arizona of the Lady in the Wind. I select all three and I press Control H, uh, Control H um, on my keyboard and then it takes me right away into an HDR. Now, okay, and panorama, panorama is, so this is a panorama, one, two, and three photo. I select all three and Control M, Control H is HDR, Control M is panorama. I use that all the time. I just Think it's faster to right click photo merge uh, and voila so this is the 13 most uh, important sh shortcuts i've been using for 12 years if there is other shortcuts you see that you use a lot leave me a comment below i'm really interested to know what is your favorite shortcuts don't forget to download the cheat sheet and to print it you know put it up on the wall it's going to help you and i'll see you in another video mesdames et messieurs au revoir